Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to send a special shout out to you and welcome you. Um, what I want to talk about today uh, in this particular video is something that really disturbed me. And I'm really getting sick and tired of how we are responding. And when I say we, this is particularly uh, to black people who don't want to take responsibility um, for our bad behavior. Uh, I'm getting a lot of backlash, and I guess from people talking about what Stevie Wonder said and how he said it. And um, I find it very disrespectful, first and foremost. Number one is, um, I know Stevie is a soldier. And because I'm, I think, I know every sane and rational person knows that black lives matter. I say two. Because to me, I think white people, just to, to, the, to a degree, some of them are so jaded. And remember, you're dealing with people who are mentally ill from thinking that they're superior than everybody else. So, which makes them uh, altruistic crazy. So, sometimes you have to say something to them like, you know, black lives matter too. That's all black lives matter mean. And, and we're saying that because if, if it's a given. Any fool knows that all lives matter. But you, the police don't seem to know that all lives matter. And they're focusing in on the black lives. So, they're killing black people. So this is the only explanation that I can give to people about this Black Lives Matter shit, okay? Because now it's getting to the point where it's getting real sickening, where you can't speak the truth about our responsibility and what we're doing to each other without people saying that you're a coon. Now, of course, I know that we have been socially en engineered. This is a psychological warfare. And if you ain't ready to handle it mentally and spiritually, then you either you doodle or you get your ass off the pot. Because here's what's going on. Now you're in a situation where people don't want to take responsibility for their bad, crazy-ass, bullshit behavior. And this is what I see. You cannot not address the fact that we are killing each other in these neighborhoods every single day. And don't talk about crime went down. As much adversary as we have, as many adversaries as we have, as many people that hate on us, we are the most hated people in the world, in, the, in America, I'm saying. The black and woman and the black man. And you mean to tell me, with, with that knowledge, being armed of that knowledge, it doesn't want to make you just go overboard to love yourself Unless yourself is doing something so detrimental that you got to consider him an enemy as well. And when that happens, because that's very well possible, when a group of people have been socially engineered the way we have, we have become insane. You can't dismiss that. You have fault. It's not your fault. I'm not blaming you. But we got two lost generations. And guess what? We got to deal with it. We got crack babies. We got babies out here that don't know that they, because their mamas and fathers and their sperm is made out of drugs. And because that egg had uh, crack all in it, that that is affecting their thinking. So if you got people that don't even, and is not even willing to know that, wow, or can even admit since they can admit and be angry at their parents for being crackheads, don't you think you should have the same energy? To see what the effects on a baby is. Since if I was a crack baby. Let me just go say. I know it's my mama's fault that I'm hooked on crack. That, that I came to birth uh, a crack baby. I know that. But hopefully. Once I found out that information. If I was a person that was trying to be right from the inside. It would behoove me to think what would be the effects of that type of drug on my little body. You know, maybe I'm asking too much. 
But I don't think I am for great people. For the people that have been the greatest, who consider themselves the, the, the first people. It has been proven that God made. It ain't too hard for you. Because the same entity, the same evil entity that placed, uh, that's not responsible for, um, uh, uh, you know, your birth, although it may be responsible for putting you in an environment where you would want to reach out for that, everybody's going to take responsibility for you using or for you being a crack baby. So what you're going to have to do is figure out how has me finding out that my mama smoked crack coming up, how has that affected my behavior? And if you're not willing to do that, because you got some damage because your mother smoked crack. And if you're not willing to do that, then I can't go to war with you because you're probably part of the problem in the, in the, in the hood, in the neighborhood. You're probably part of the problem. I just had, just told y'all about the individual that I know. His, her aunt got shot in the eye from somebody trying to carjack her. See, one thing about the neighborhood, we're all lumped in here together, mixed up everywhere. We got a lot of mental health issues. Nobody want to deal with that. You know, nobody want to deal with that. This is, okay, I already know, we already know what the outside enemy is supposed to be doing to us. This is what we're doing to ourselves. Let's talk about that because that's called self-responsibility. And the minute you start getting totally away from that, and you just want to do the other thing, talk about what the, uh, somebody else do, and what the, then you lose me. You lose me. Nobody's supposed to love me like I love myself. How crazy is that? And how, um, of course, you can say that you, we can say they're two separate uh, issues. The bottom line is this. If I was in a war, like I am, why would I take, well, we know that the Europeans call it friendly fire. Why would I take the gun and then just start shooting people that I'm in at war with that's on my side? That's a hell of a damn army. If we turn around and we kill each other, but then we got an enemy lurking a little, uh, 100, 500% of feet ahead of us. But we turn around shooting each other. Because that's what it's like. And then you don't want anybody to address that or say anything about it or they're a coon. Okay? We walk around in these communities every day with our cortisone level uh, just high, elevated, pushed, heightened stress levels. Uh, we don't have a culture Rap music is not a culture. We listen to this stuff that the Tavistock Institute has created. These organizations that create stuff and based on our desires, based on who they think we are. Oh, they study us. But all you can do is say, well, you a coon. You a coon. Because you said that um, uh, black lives matter and, and because you mentioned we shouldn't kill ourselves. No. Uh -uh. These behavior scientists have done all kinds of tests where they put rats in very crowded conditions and allow those rats to cohabitate and uh, mate and do all kinds of stuff in very crowded, crowded, crowded conditions, deplorable conditions. The behavioral programmers, they put black people in those same conditions. And what was interesting, what was very interesting about the rats, and I always state this over and over again, when they took would the rats begin to fight each other, bite each other, eat each other? Right there in that closed confinement, they begin to kill each other, go at it, eat the babies. It was just pure anarchy and mayhem. So what the psycho, the behavior psycho, uh, behavior scientists did was took a handful of rats, 
took them out. Then they grabbed another handful of rats and put them out. So it made the conditions inside of the box less crowded so they could observe the behavior of the rats. Interestingly enough, the rats that were inside of the box, even though they had more space, even though they had more room, continue to fight each other. Continue to gnaw. Although they had room, more room than they had prior to this, them taking those rats out. They didn't know how to handle it. They had been conditioned already. It was too late. The ones that were outside the box, they began to move around into different areas. So they weren't as violent. Now, if they can do that experiment on rats and come up with those conclusions and then realize this is what the um, animal will do, well, you're just a human animal. And they've got you pegged just perfect. And that's exactly how we become. So we have people in our communities who are eating off of us. And they have to be dealt with. Okay? If you want to call it friendly fire, whatever you want to call it, we have to deal with that issue. Certain people got to go. Certain people are not taking responsibility for their destructive, destructive behavior. And every time I mention responsibility, I don't need to be met with, I'm a coon. How dare you? Most of y'all couldn't even uh, hold Stevie Wonder's jock strap. He is, Stevie Wonder is also very instrumental in you having a holiday, national holiday for Dr. King's birthday. He went to jail for that. So now all of a sudden he's a coon because he says, how can y'all say black? Because maybe that's the way he worded it. Because I know he loves black people. I know, I, th I know he loves humanity, just like most of us. It's just that we're under attack. We're under siege from ourselves and from the outside world. From our families and from the outside world. So I guarantee you, if you start with yourself, I guarantee you, if you start taking responsibility for your behavior, then maybe what Stevie Wonder had to say won't be such a hard pill to swallow. All right. I'm out of here.